Hey Anime Studio Pro Beginners, this is The Crave, Doug Craven coming at you and today I want to talk about something very important for those of you who really want to learn how to animate using Anime Studio Pro and that is how to stop your animations from moving. What? Is that a paradox? No, not really. If you want to take control of your animations, you have to make sure that they start only when you want them to and that means you really have to know how to prevent them from moving before that point. So how do I do that? I've got my little robot guy here. And let's say I want him to raise his arm in a second. I go there, I grab the manipulate bone tool and I raise his arm up. No problem there. Nice movement. Now let's say I decide I want about halfway through, I want his arm to start bending. So I go, all right, from this point on, let's say here, I want it to finish here. So there we go, nice bend there. Now here's the problem. If I start here, you'll notice that my elbow starts bending way before I wanted it to, because I don't want it to start until 12. So here's the important bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to frame 12, and I'm gonna force a keyframe on 12 for this bone here. Easiest way to do that, is to use the tool you want to move it, manipulate bone in this case, click on the bone, and it automatically creates a keyframe there. That is the money right there. These frames serve no purpose at all except to stop that elbow from moving before I bloody well want it to. So now if I move to 24, bend that elbow there, then no elbow movement, no elbow movement, what elbow movement? That's the control you want. Now there are a couple of different ways to do that and there's actually a more efficient way than that. Uh, if you're using bones, you can go up to the bone menu and you'll see that there are these delicious little controls, freeze pose, freeze selected bones, and freeze visible bones. They all basically do the same thing. So if I go to this arm right here and I move it up, I'm gonna get that movement starting really, really early on. No, that's not when I want it to happen. So how do I take control of that? Well, let's say I don't want it to start moving until after that bone, is all, this arm is already up. So what I do is I go to frame 24, and I go bone, freeze pose. Now what that does is essentially what I did before. It creates keyframes all along frame 24 for every bone that it can see. Look at all those frames. And then if I go here, frame 36, and I raise up my character's arm, then you'll notice it stays down until I want it to move. Let me illustrate that again. Let's say I want him to bend his elbow at around frame 30. I could click on this bone and create a keyframe myself, or I could go bone, freeze pose. Then I go to the end point and I bend that arm again. La -da -da -da. Just what I wanted. There's a problem though and that is look at all these keyframes and if you've got a ton of bones you're just gonna mess up your animation with all sorts of keyframes and then you won't know what is going on. It'll be like mass hysteria. So what do you do to clean that up? Well what you can do is instead of using freeze pose, you can just use freeze selected bones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the bones that might be affected by my movement. In this case, I'm going to make it these two bones here. And I'm gonna go bone, freeze selected bones. And that puts those two frames that stop those bones from moving on the timeline, but no other keyframes, nice and neat. Even your mother would be happy. It's so clean. There we go, and we open it up. And nice controlled movement. That's what I want to see. Now there's even more control possible in stopping your character from moving. Let's say I want him to move his head to the side. Well, we're already used to the idea that now that movement's gonna start at the last freeze pose, right? There you go. 
what if I didn't want that movement to start then? What if I wanted it to start around frame 48? Right? Well, you've seen a couple of techniques. I could put a keyframe around frame 48 to stop it. I could also uh, use the freeze pose or freeze selected bone functions. Here's another little trick. If you click on this keyframe, is I can go up to the keyframe dialog box and I can type in a hold duration. So let's say I want it to hold for 18 frames. I just type in 18, boom. And then what happens is it goes not moving, not moving, not moving, really moving, really moving. There we go. Now there's a little weird movement there, so I'd have to track that down, but that's essentially what I want. So that is the hold keyframe function. All right, everyone, chill.